Hi everyone! This tutorial will show you how to set up the Scratch to Nuke bridge in just a couple steps. As of version 9.0, Scratch comes with an option to create a direct link between Scratch and the Foundry Nuke. To make this link work properly, there are a number of settings that you need to enable in Nuke. But let's first take a quick look at what we're trying to achieve here. The setup is pretty simple. We have a timeline here and this chart in the middle of it, which needs further in-depth compositing. So we want to send it over to Nuke, preferably with a single click, like this. Now that we have the shot inside Nuke, we can apply some magic to it. Or rather action, like on the speed shot. And then we can render it and send it back to scratch. Again with a single click, all automated. Now we can just pull it out of the tray and replace the original shot with a new composite from Nuke. Now to set this all up, the first thing needed is Python. The script to interface between Scratch and Nuke is written in Python. You need the Python interpreter version 2.7 installed on your system. Find the download link in the video description. During the installation, make sure that Python is added to your system path variable. The next step is to create a custom command in Scratch. So let's go to System Settings, Custom Commands tab, and add a new command. Give it a label and set the type to the Foundry Nuke. Scratch will try and locate the Nuke executable itself. If it cannot detect it, you will need to set this manually using the Set button. In the title field, enter the label that you want to display on the custom command button inside Scratch. In addition, you can set options to minimize Scratch when clicking the custom command to switch to Nuke and to include the custom command in the right-click pop-up menu in the Scratch player. To round trip from Nuke back onto Scratch, make sure that the Watch folder is set up properly in the Generals tab of the system settings. Finally, let's set up the Nuke part of our little Scratch to Nuke bridge. Therefore, you need to copy two script files to certain locations. You can find the init.py and the s2nuke underscore utils.py script files under this path on Windows and this path on OS X. Both need to be copied into the .nuke folder. You can find this folder under this path on Windows and this path on OS X. Please note that the .nuke folder might be a hidden folder. Now we have everything set up. When clicking the custom command button in Scratch, Nuke is launched and a pre-configured composite is loaded. If Nuke is already running on your system, the s2nuke function uses the clipboard to pass information from Scratch to Nuke. In Nuke, you just use the paste function, Ctrl V or Command V on the Mac, to create the composite with a shot from Scratch. The composition generated by Scratch to Nuke creates two groups of nodes. First group is import from Scratch. This group contains a read node with a selected shot and a time clip node for adjusting the timing based on the shot input. Tip: Be sure to set your timeline in Nuke to input and not global to get the good frame range of the shot. The second group is export to Scratch. This group contains a metadata node with information on your Scratch project. Note that you can modify that information. And also a write node with the render path already set to your project media folder. The write node has a post render script that writes an XML file into your Scratch watch folder. Scratch always monitors this watch folder and if an XML is there, process it. So when you render the node in Nuke, the resulting shot will automatically get loaded into the tray of your Scratch project from where you can drag and drop it into your timeline or composite. That's it for showing how to set up the Scratch to Nuke bridge. If you have any questions or improvement suggestions, feel free to send them our way. Goodbye.